Yeah, let's pour some gas and light this thing on fire. I'll get the roof, you pour through the windshield. Dude, this doesn't have an alarm, I'd rather keep it for myself. You want to punish this guy or you need a BM? Morning. Whoever is behind the camera gone f***ed up. After 200 meters, make a sharp right turn, then turn left. This'll take us right back there. It's not like there's any other way. We've made it. There it is. Your pride and joy. Don't see any batteries next to it, though. Update your WhatsApp? Do you have any idea what these people are talking about? I do not. Oh, we need to drive through the gate? We are a bunch of broke YouTubers today. We're using our phones to film. That's pretty much all we have on us. Tell the people why we're under-equipped. Well, uh, point the camera at yourself, dude. Our camera guy has forgotten his equipment. What he brought is out of battery, so there you go. Good day, my name's Vlad. Daniel. Nice to meet you, Daniel. So what have we come to take off your hands? Vlad was sure we came for a Gen 7 Toyota Mark II. A BMW 7 Series? Nice. What was it supposed to be? I think it was a 110 Series Mark II, but apparently it's a 7? It's cold out here, let's open your garage. And uh, we'll clear this up. And to think I... We're just booking icon after icon. Is it gonna start? It's not gonna leak oil, is it? Hello and welcome to Detail Garage 54. Now let's do a proper intro. So in this video series we clean subscribers' cars absolutely free of charge. We make them nice and clean and uh, just a treat to look at. And from time to time people submit these sorts of enormous luxo barges that are just... absolutely epic, I mean. This is such an opulent limo, a car that is such a joy to be inside and drive. It's a long wheelbase E38 BM, I mean, just talking about it is giving me goosebumps. It gets its fair share of attention and looks. You see a bunch of heads turning. After all, these are becoming less and less common as the years go by. And since we've got one in our facility, let's make this so nice that it won't just be turning heads, but will literally make people faint when they lay their eyes on it. Thank you. 
ain't say about the pain, ain't but a thing. It's them. Come to the tokens. I've been training myself to add cheese to the picture. A smile go far, self grace is worth a million miles. Look, change the bit, came a little up. By the time they want the price, the name new went up. Still got work to do, I'm trying daily. Cause don't end up and leave, but I can take it. By now, all my demons know I'm praying. By now, all my haters know I'm staying. Stay it, flipping, yeah, you know the plan. Feel like God been gave another chance. And it ain't wasted on gambles. Cause I know I would be this fast as in pampers. They say that he won't put that on, you can't handle. So I just see a few more ships on my map. Somebody says I'm gonna need something else to burn Daddy and I got nowhere to turn Nobody be jumping the curve What? Hello? Where's my money? What money? What? Are you drunk or something? I'm Mikhail Palach Siren. Who the hell are you? Drunk. I'm calling to... You know I want you, want you, want you Love you, love you 
yok kusur değil. So a bit of time has passed, you've already seen the car, and I witnessed your reaction. Can you try articulating how it felt? Well, I didn't get a good look yet, but still, it's difficult to put into words. That is a huge difference. Yeah, we uh, gave it a polish. The color is poppin'. We've removed any tiny scratches and cracks. And the color looks pretty rich. We've also applied some hard wax. And we've done some interior detailing. Now a deep polish that we couldn't do. Because of how thin the layer of clear coat is on your car. If we'd have done it, we very well might have ruined it, you know. That is the factory paint, so... Yeah, and that's why we decided not to go that route. Go ahead and take a look at the interior. Just like you requested we left the headliner alone to avoid any sort of emergency. We've cleaned the leather, door cards, doors, pillars, sills, everything else. And uh, that right there is what the car is supposed to look like. It's like brand new, wow. They used to look greasy. Are you subscribed to our Telegram? No. We actually made a post on Telegram with the before and after of the driver's seat. We divided it into two areas. And it has been a minute since I've seen such a dramatic difference. So yeah, the color is black. We actually post little spoilers way before we upload to YouTube. Let's talk about what we haven't done. What we haven't done. Well, I can tell you that we haven't done the engine bay. I was a bit too scared to go in there. Well, it's nothing too scary. Well, I understand, but still. I was somewhat apprehensive. I mean, an E32 is very, uh, sort of agricultural, that's easy to clean. This thing, however, is a bit more complicated and high-tech. It's lovely. I like it a lot. Thank you very much. No worries, hope you enjoy it. If I may share what I felt when I drove your car. It's like, I don't know, you're riding a cloud or something. It's super comfortable, you're hugged by the seat. And you can feel the sheer power of the car, even though the engine is just three liters. And you get a lot of looks. Oh yeah, lots of heads turning. 
This car gets a lot of attention. I just have one question for you. Why did you buy this car? It's my favorite toy. It's just that I'm really into cars. And I've dreamed of getting one of these for a while now. To own, to cherish. I bought this one as a treat for myself, not to sell it for profit. It is going to need a bit of work, which I'm prepared for. I'll do everything I have to and the car is going to be good. Yeah, old BMWs are like that. Repairing one is a never-ending process. They're quite a money pit. Yeah, and a bit of foreshadowing. Can you tell us about a certain lot that you have? My father bought that uh, Samara 2 in uh, 2006, or it was actually in early 2007. The car is in 06, and it has been in the family ever since. I still have it, I basically inherited it. I've been driving it for six years now. My mom used to drive it, my dad. It was used as a cab. It has had an interesting life. I've traveled around a lot of Russia in it. I've gone to the Altai like seven times, and so on. I look after it and the car does me well. That Lada has been in one family for so many years, and if you want us to do a video about it, hit us up in the comments. We might even do it, clean it up. It's literally standing outside right now. He drove here in it. And it is a juicy patient, let me tell you. It is going to require a bit of attention. But uh, this was a great episode. I uh, quite like this one. Finally, we are featuring one of these BMWs. Pretty much like the one from the movie. We've uh, gotten to work on one, we've cleaned and polished it, admired the beauty, and most importantly, the soul of this car. Anyways, see you guys in future videos. Bye-bye. Good luck, fellows. Take care.